Let's start at the beginning. Mr. Stark! Mr. Stark, are you okay? Answer me, please! In this reality, Tony Stark is trying to create his suit. But he keeps failing. That's why now they are trying to take off Tony's armor. It is also obvious that his experiment left him with some burns and abrasions. But Tony Stark doesn't seem to care because he wants to address the mistakes he made right away. Mr. Stark, you've been through I don't know how much trauma and I think- Don't be ridiculous. It's just a few burns, abrasions, soft tissue injuries, significant bruising, what look like organ hematomas. Mr. Stark. Tony's bodyguard named Happy tries to calm him down too. But Tony doesn't care because- I need this suit to help people. That's why I need space to focus and create so you're all fired till Monday. That's when Happy and Tony's butler named Jarvis decide to leave. But Virginia Pepper Potts decides to stay and help him. But then... Pepper? You up? Yes, Mr. Stark. Fatigue caught up with me there. Oh, why... why did you put the suit back on? Oh, you're gonna love this, Peps. Ladies and gentlemen, you thought he was dead, but he just got better. Presenting... Tony Stark. Good as new. What? There's no scarring? If this armor works as well as I think it will, it'll be a mobile hospital, keeping people safe no matter where they go in the world. Then Tony explains that the suit can also treat organs, fix bones. But when he tries to show it to Pepper... Look, when I put this glove on, I had three metacarpal fractures in my left hand. It hurt like hell and slowed down my typing. It was damn irritating. You want to see what it looks like now? Yes, Mr. Stark, I absolutely would. His skin comes off with the suit. Then Jarvis and Happy both appear from somewhere, and they put the glove back on. But then something strange happens. When I put the glove back on him, he instantly calmed down, like it's anesthetizing him. Right. Okay. Just a few bugs to work out. And then he's back to that same old Tony Stark. Bugs! That thing ate your skin, boss. Tony then explains that the suit must have calculated logically that iron skin would offer more protection than human flesh. So that's why it tried to replace it. After that, Pepper offers to assist Tony in fixing the suit, and so the two of them begin to work again. While working, Tony once again reminds Pepper that he's building this suit because he wants to help people, because he wants to make this world a better place. Tony also confesses to Pepper his love for her, and then they split up to work again. But then... Ma'am. Sir. Coffee, steak, and eggs are coming. You're a lifesaver, Jarvis. I'm coming! Sir! Tony! What's wrong, Pepper? The suit, Tony. Why the hell did you put it back on? Am I? I'm wearing the suit? Tony says that he didn't even notice himself putting the suit back on. Isn't that strange? Tony, inside the suit, your skin, it's... It's just gone, Tony, everywhere. It's dissolved. However, for some reason, Tony doesn't even seem to care that much. Obviously, I'm concerned, but Pepper, why would I ever want to remove the suit? <sighs> Pepper, I'm kidding. It may have taken my skin, but I've still got my trademark humor. But honestly, since the suit's all that's keeping me alive right now, I think I'm going to stay inside it if it's all the same to you. Then he says he'll attempt to fix this, and orders Peps and Jarvis to bring him a nutritional ISO solution. Here it is, sir. But then... Isolation protocol. Tony! Tony isolates himself. I don't feel so good, Peps. I feel different. Tony, I'm gonna scan you, okay? Pepper starts scanning Tony and informs him about his condition. I tell him whatever's happening to him is accelerating. I tell him there are wires from the suit deep inside his brain. I tell him his skull is gone and he'll never be able to leave the suit again. And I tell him most of what I see is just undifferentiated meat. He's so calm about it. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't scream. He just raises his head and says, Pepper. That sounds fine to me. <laughs> then Tony imposes a lockdown on the entire building, closing all of the doors and cutting off all lines of communication so there is no way out. And then, I don't know how much later, his lab unlocks, just like that. Happy and Jarvis rush inside as quickly as possible. But Tony locks them in and removes all of the oxygen from the room. And while Pepper watches, he takes their bodies, opens up the suit, and then... I hear bones snap. I see what was inside both men gush out of every crease, every slit. And when he's done, I watch that motionless suit for what feels like days. 
until what's left of Happy and Jarvis gets up and shambles out of view and starts helping him. I'm trapped. There's nothing I can do but watch that empty feed. I feel crazy until suddenly Stark Tower isn't in lockdown anymore. But then Pepper hears something going on outside. Diseases your doctors claimed were incurable can be fixed. Stark Industries is here to help. You just need to climb inside. She takes a chair and drops it through the window, but it doesn't work. Don't get in the suit! Useless. They just fought to climb in faster. For a moment, I let myself hope there's just one suit, just the one. But as soon as that first scream begins, it's followed by another and another. They rise in a chorus across the city. It's only when what's inside those suits changes that the screams finally stop. Just as I know mine will. When a heavy hand rests upon my shoulder, and a name I don't let anyone else call me, escapes from the body of the man I love. Pepper. 